In the late 1970s, a gripping movie emerged onto the scene, captivating audiences with its tale of vengeance in the aftermath of the Civil War. Directed by Clint Eastwood, it follows the journey of a man who transforms into an outlaw after tragedy strikes his family at the hands of Union militants. This film has endured the test of time, drawing viewers back with its gritty realism and memorable characters. As we delve deeper into this story, we uncover fascinating facts and insights that enhance its impact. From behind-the-scenes stories to its lasting influence on the film industry, there's a wealth of discoveries to be made. Do you have fond memories associated with this classic movie? Share your experiences and connections with its themes in the comments below. Join us as we uncover hidden gems and timeless truths within this unforgettable tale. There's a whole world waiting to be explored. Back in 1976, a movie came out that really grabbed people's attention. It was about a guy who goes through a lot after the Civil War. Directed by Clint Eastwood, it tells the story of a man seeking revenge on those who wrecked his life. The movie isn't just about cowboys and guns. It's about dealing with loss, finding redemption, and wanting justice. Eastwood's role in the film is one of his most memorable, showing how tough times can shape a person. Even though it's set in the past, the movie still connects with people today, reminding us how stories can stick with us and inspire us. In the realm of films, there's a special type of western that really stands out. Directed by Clint Eastwood, this movie is unique, getting praise from surprising places. Even people who didn't know Eastwood personally treated him like a longtime friend. This film is cherished by country singer George Strait, showing how good Eastwood is as a filmmaker and how much people still love his work. With its captivating story and memorable characters, the outlaw Josie Wales grabs viewers' attention with its realness and strong messages. Its themes of redemption and resilience really hit home with audiences, going beyond just a movie to make you think. When the credits start rolling, you can't help but feel a deep respect for Eastwood's amazing filmmaking skills. Truly, the outlaw Josie Wales is more than a film. It's a reminder of the great work done by a true artist, and its influence keeps going, inspiring filmmakers and Western fans for years to come. Bill McKinney's final appearance in a Western film was in Ghost Town, the movie. It marked the end of his contributions to the genre. Interestingly, The Outlaw Josie Wales was Clint Eastwood's first movie under Warner Brothers, a departure from his previous works distributed by Universal Pictures. Well, Sampson, known for his role in The Outlaw Josie Wales, is associated with the alleged poltergeist curse, becoming its third victim. Despite efforts to ward off the curse with Native American rituals during the filming of Poltergeist to the other side, Samson passed away due to complications during surgery a year after the film's release. The curse is also linked to the tragic deaths of other cast members from the Poltergeist series, adding an eerie layer to Samson's story. In Clint Eastwood's 1976 Western film, familial tragedy struck when his cousin Donald F. Runner passed away at the age of 32 in Spokane, Washington. The cause of his death remains undisclosed. Meanwhile, Sam Bottoms, known for his role as the young Confederate soldier Billy in a prior film, got his big break while tagging along with his brother Timothy Bottoms on set. Director Peter Bogdanovich spotted him and decided to cast him in the outlaw Josie Wales. Sandra Locke, a key figure in Eastwood's life, faced a rupture in her friendship with Maria Shriver due to Shriver's refusal to publicly support Locke in her legal battle against Eastwood. Despite their once close bond, the disagreement led to a permanent rift between the two women. Their lives intersected in various ways, shaping the course of the film and its aftermath. In the late 1970s, a seasoned actor took on a role that would become a classic in his career. Despite initial doubts about his age, he proved himself as the perfect fit for the character. Interestingly, the role had been turned down by several older stars before he accepted it. This actor wasn't just known for this one role though. He had another famous character under his belt, one that left a lasting impression on audiences. In a later movie, a different actor paid tribute to this iconic character, adding a new dimension to its legacy. Beyond his on-screen success, this actor had an unusual fixation on a particular film critic who didn't always appreciate his work. In fact, he went to great lengths to understand her perspective, even seeking a psychiatric analysis to explain her criticisms. Overall, this actor's career was marked by overcoming challenges, creating memorable characters, and navigating the complexities of critics' opinions. Will Sampson, known for his roles in significant films, appeared in The Outlaw Josie Wales, a movie recognized by the Library of Congress for its cultural and historical importance. Sampson also starred in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, another film on the National Film Registry. 
The outlaw Josie Wales stands out for its commendable portrayal of Native Americans, earning acclaim from Native American viewers for avoiding stereotypes. This aspect adds depth to the film's narrative and resonates positively with diverse audiences. Sandra Locke shared the screen with Clint Eastwood in multiple films, including the outlaw Josie Wales. Their collaboration extended to works like Every Which Way But Loose and The Gauntlet, showcasing a strong on-screen partnership. These interwoven connections within the film industry contribute to the cinematic landscape, where actors like Will Sampson, themes like non-stereotypical representation, and partnerships like Locke and Eastwood's collaborations leave a lasting impact. Clint Eastwood's daughter Lori leads a private life, working as an elementary teacher and married to Lowell Thomas Toby Murray Roman III. Their family owns property in Lakewood, Washington, and a home in La Quinta, California. An unnamed source close to Eastwood described his approach to guilt, stating it often manifests as anger, used to challenge or condemn others. Before her film career, Sandra Locke accumulated stage credits in various productions. These details offer insight into the lives of key figures involved in the making of the film. In the realm of movies, there's a legend who brought to life a character we all remember. He didn't just act, he also lent his voice to make sure everything sounded just right for us. His work in movies like A Fistful of Dollars, for a few dollars more, and the good, the bad, and the ugly made him a star. Even when the movies were released in the US, he took the time to redo his lines so they sounded perfect in English. One thing about this star is that he wasn't just about the acting. He had a knack for directing too. In fact, he directed some pretty great films himself. One of the characters he played, the tough cowboy in the outlaw Josie Wales, became famous and represented a type of character we still see in movies today. His career wasn't just about fame, he left a lasting impression on the movie world. From those early cowboy days to his later work behind the camera, his influence is still felt in the movies we watch. He's not just a part of movie history, he's one of the reasons why movies are the way they are today. Clint Eastwood, a prominent figure in film, had his first on-screen kiss with Carol Channing in 1956 as the first traveling sales lady. Sandra Locke, known for her role in the outlaw Josie Wales, found herself in a romantic relationship with surgeon Scott Cooning, who was notably younger than her. Despite their connection, the relationship ended due to their significant age gap. Interestingly, Eastwood's influence extended beyond the silver screen, as he was mentioned in the theme song of the 1980s TV show The Fall Guy. These anecdotes shed light on the lives of the actors beyond their roles in the 1976 movie.